In this video, we'll be showing you how to configure a repeater using DDWRT. First, we will open a browser and connect to the main access point using its IP address. In this example, we are using a Linksys router and its IP address is set to 192.168.2.1. The first step to configure our repeater is to save this IP address which the main access point uses. We will also need the wireless SSID of the main access point. The channel this SSID is broadcasting on must be set to a value which should also be recorded and this channel setting must not be auto. Next, we need to make note of the wireless security mode, the encryption type and also the Wi-Fi key used. All these must be the same on the DDWRT device being used as a repeater. We now need to connect the other wireless device we are going to be configuring as a repeater. It would be best to do so via cable. Once connected, enter the default IP address to connect the DDWRT control panel. Now we begin to configure our DDWRT device as a repeater. First up, we go to the wireless tab and select repeater or repeater bridge in the wireless mode drop-down box. Select the wireless broadcast mode you prefer. In this example, our main access point is broadcasting on wireless G, so we will select NG for our repeater. We need to input the same SSID used by our main router. Make sure the spelling and case are the same and our channel should be the same used by our main router. We then save. We do not want to apply any setting until the configuration is done and we confirm we are correct. Head to the wireless security tab. Select the security mode that matches the mode your main access point is using. Also match the encryption type and input the very same key used for the passphrase. Save then we move to the services tab. Scroll to the DNS mask tab and disable. Save once again and now the next step is the security tab. Under the block 1 request heading, uncheck all except filter multicast. Then disable SPI firewall, which is at the top, then click save. Now to set up, then advanced routing tab. Choose router under operating mode, then save again. Head back to the basic setup tab. Choose an IP address within the range that your main router uses. For this example, our main access point is using 192.168.2.1 to 192.168.2.50 and we will choose 192.168.2.10 for our repeater. We enter this in the local address section. Now both the gateway and local DNS should be the IP address of our main access point, 192.168.2.1. .2.1 in this example. This completes the repeater configuration. You can now apply all settings and reboot the DDWRT device. Once the device powers up completely, we will use the local IP address configured for the device to access the control panel. In this case, it is 192.168.2.10. And from the first access, we see the details displayed under System Information. Your device is now a fully functional repeater, thanks to DDWRT.